Oh my god, John boy, let me go! Cool. Oh! Oh! <laughs> See you later. Good morning. So it is day 12 of my 30 days living in a van, 30 days traveling on the road, 30 different collabs, 30 different challenges, 30 different sub challenges. Welcome back. Today I'm actually meeting someone a little bit different. I'm not actually meeting a creator. Today I'm gonna to be meeting up with someone who is at the very top of their profession. I'm gonna be meeting up with a former Olympian. I'm gonna be challenging an Olympian. Make the best sandwich today. That's dinner sorted then. But just before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been supporting me along this journey the whole way round. I read every single comment and it really means a lot. You guys have been amazing and you seem to be really enjoying the series, which is great. Now, I do have people actually booked in for the next few days, except for next Tuesday. So is there anyone you guys want to see me do a video with? That'd be really good. Maybe, maybe we could be a bit cheeky. Maybe we can now go onto social media and try and like harass someone into doing a video with me. Who would you like to see me do a video? I tell you what, tag this video on social media with your favorite creator, preferably London based, and we can hopefully do a video with them. Oh. Still doing my COVID tests every day. The other thing is that we are actually booked into a campsite tonight. So we are gonna be filming from the van most of the day today. But is there anywhere in the country you'd like to see me travel to? Or is there anything like, in the van that I haven't done yet that you'd like to see me do or something you'd like to see me do again. Like I know some people quite enjoyed the stealth camping for example. So I'm quite curious to see what are your favorite bits so far. I hope you don't mind me just catching up with you this morning. I just feel like I need to tell you what's on my mind. Right, so even though my challenge is in London today, it's on the other side of London. So it's gonna take me a little while to get there which gives that time to come in. So uh, let's get going. I actually hate driving in London. I'm only traveling 19 miles today, 19 miles. And the sat nav, the Google Maps is telling me it's gonna take well over an hour. And that's because I'm spending the whole time in bloody traffic. I mean, come on, what the fuck? But seriously, no offense Londoners. I don't know how you put up with it. I'm glad I don't still live here. Hello, mate. I, I think I'm parked up. Good to see you, mate. How you doing? You all right? It can be terrible, and I'll just make it look like we're, right. we're really witty. <laughs> um, guys, I haven't actually introduced you yet. Here's Ross. <laughs> yes, I mean, we've been sitting here chatting. I made him a lovely cough. Well, I think it was a nice coffee. It was a lovely cup of coffee. Ross, uh, like, <laughs> you should just introduce Who are yourself. You? Who the hell are you? Come on now. Um, so, my name's Ross. Um, slightly different, I would say, to some of the other people that uh, John's been meeting. I wouldn't, I'm not a YouTuber as such. Uh, but obviously, you know, I put a bit of content, running content related on Instagram. So, technically, could be a content creator. Um, but yeah, so I ran in the London 2012 Olympics. So, most of the people I've met, I've met podcasters and YouTubers so far. And you're actually a, a proper professional. <laughs> athlete or you were a professional. I used to be, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so I did that. I was a professional athlete, retired due to injuries, got some nice, I'll, sh I'll show you my scars, yeah, scars all across there, scars, scars there as well. So, so what happened? Oh, in a sense, I, I ran competitively since I was 10. So um, the my body was just um, ruined. Right. If we're keeping this PG. If we're keeping this, yeah. Um, it was ruined. and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I did want to say my, my body was just fucked. Um, but no, I retired about uh, three years ago, but still run now for fun, um, which people will be like, running for fun, what? But try it, it's nice. Yeah, you initially challenged me to like uh, a running base contest, but you can't because you're injured. Yes, but, I, you, but could... you were happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you can run a mile in under four minutes. 3.52 was my best. 3.52 for a mile, so there's no way I'm keeping up. <laughs> Giving you the shit controller, by the way. Is this the shit controller? <laughs> by the way, I don't want to put, put, call you out on this, but are you wearing two uh, right socks? That appears to be. <laughs> 
I'm a maverick. So what we're doing... I've got my undies on back to front as well. <laughs> I'm surprised you got them on. I don't. <laughs> what are we doing? Because this was your idea, so yeah. I haven't actually explained anything to, to the audience. So, what, what... so so initially we wanted to do... Well, we chatted and we said we wanted to do some sort of challenging an Olympian. So uh, I was sitting, I was thinking, I thought, oh, you know, I used to love playing Athens 2004, Beijing 2008. If you're very old, track and field. Track and field was the one. Yeah, that was the, that it was, was the original. It was the doing that on the control and like the... With the battery. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've, I've downloaded the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 computer game. To clarify, we're playing Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Yeah. We're going to take part in 10... Let's have a look, see how many we've got here. Set this up. I th oh, hang on. Players. How to use this players off the... Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna press A, maybe, I think. Do we need to hold it, or is my control not on? <laughs> is it two old people not Yeah, right? just like two people. Right. How does this work? <laughs> In order to play with two players, connect a second control at the con. You press A. No. <laughs> Am I logged in as like... Do you know how to work Xbox is more than me? I was always a PlayStation guy. Mm. The challenge is who can, oh, who can set up the game. There's been a slightly tragic moment here where two guys in their early 30s can't work can't an Xbox. Set up an Xbox. Which is, uh, yeah. Here we are. Right here now. we go. It looks like we're in. Right, there's the sports. There are the sports confirmed. 100 metres, 100 metre freestyle, hammer throw, 110 hurdles, BMX, tennis singles, judo. How are you feeling? Nervous. Oh, he looks like me. <laughs> Oh my god, John Boy, there we go! Oh, oh. What did I run? I came second. In this challenge series, I'm currently losing 8 3. Oh, oh, really? 8 3, yeah, so. Um, don't think I knew what was going on quick enough. I didn't realise how fast I. Right, okay, now I'm focused. Now I'm focused. So you've felt. Do you know what? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're the one on the right, mate. You're still going. What? No. Yeah, you're still going. I'm Roscoe Runner 1. Press up now. If you press up, I you're thought going to I thought we'd <laughs> swapped it so that we would be... Press up. Yeah. <laughs> Disaster for the series. <laughs> no! Oh, yes! Oh, right. It's now um, 9 3. That is, I think that is it. Yeah, that is it. That is our Olympic challenge. Why do I, I mean, to be fair, losing to an Olympian feels okay. I mean, not that we were actually doing physical sports, but at the same time. Right, I'm fuming, Ross. Thank you. Mate, pleasure. I'm out. As see, always, you see you later. See you later. Good to see you. Fuming. Come back next time. <laughs> to clarify, that makes the series 9 3 to other creators. So, uh, yeah, this not good. Not good. Although, can I really expect to beat an Olympian? They're, they're competitive. You should have seen how competitive it was. It's unbelievable. Thank you very much, Ross. I know you're watching this. Thank you very much. Right, now the plan is to find a supermarket on the way to the campsite because I need to make the world's best sandwich, whatever the fuck that means. I seem to be just camping in a giant field and I've just spent a bit of time editing. But I think it's probably time we get on with the world's best sandwich, whatever that means. So I couldn't decide what the best sandwich in the world is, so I just decided to make a really good sandwich. So I am trying to make 
and meatball marinara sub making my own sauce. And of course, I've gone for a baguette here, but more to the point, I've gone for a, a tiger loaf because you know, it's just better in it. And there we have it, one homemade meatball marinara. That's gonna be so messy to eat, isn't it? But I just wanna say again, I know I said it at the beginning of the video, thank you so, so much for the support. We've actually increased in subscribers and that's the first time in a year that's happened. So we are slowly going up. So thank you so much. Keep up to the support. Keep hitting the like button. Keep leaving your comments. I always read them. And uh, I guess now watch a time-lapse of me eating this, I guess. There's some lads down there playing music really loud. Hopefully I don't get crappy art claimed. This is gonna to be too messy to eat on the time lapse, so I'm gonna finish the video there. Don't be a dick, like these guys down here. <laughs>